There are two main types of iodine supplements on the market, either atomic iodine or molecular iodine. The molecular one is something like Lugol's tincture, and the atomic iodine is called nascent iodine, and it's in an alcohol tincture, and it's been electrically treated to a specification written out by Edgar Cayce, a very famous medical intuitive who lived and worked mainly in the 1940s. We call it thyrodine. It's a tincture and it's in an easy little bottle with a dropper in the neck. When you tilt the bottle, out come drops and you get to count them. Iodine is such a strange thing. The RDA for iodine is 150 micrograms. But that's the dose at which you will not develop goiter, the swelling of the neck that is associated with dramatic iodine insufficiency. But the optimal dose is way higher. In Europe, the dose is set to 10 times the RDA, but it's found that in Japan, the typical Japanese person ingests about 100 times that much. 100 times. And in Japan, you find that there is not much of the illnesses that are associated with iodine deficiencies. Tumors and, and uh, cysts and fibroids. Iodine is interacting with estrogen. They're each other antagonists. And so people who have excessive estrogen women with problems such as fibrocystic breast, PMS problems, and other hormonal difficulties are probably deficient in iodine and should be taking extra. This also holds true for men because uh, enlarged prostate is associated with deficiency of iodine. Every cell in your body has an iodine receptor. These receptors are helping to regulate metabolism regulating how hot or cold you are, your temperature regulation, your baseline metabolic rate, how much energy you burn sitting still and just being. So that, of course, is related back to your set weight. So if your thyroid is not functioning well, it's probably because of lack of iodine, which will probably give you the difficulty to maintain a normal slim body shape. What's also important about iodine is that it's involved in helping the defenses, the uh, mucosal barrier, the cells that are lining your mouth and your digestive system, your nose and your breathing system and your reproductive system. All of them are depending on sufficient supply of iodine to keep the invaders out. So when you're <laughs> insufficient in iodine, you will likely have infectious problems. You will be more easy to penetrate by the invaders than if your iodine is high. We recommend the thyrodine because it's very convenient, very affordable, and easy to use, non-toxic. Take a look.